Many words can be used to describe John Jacob Astor, not all of them complimentary. He was a millionaire, a slumlord, a war profiteer, and a ruthless jobber who shipped opium to China and sold liquor to Indians fully aware of their devastating effects on these communities. He was also a philanthropist who funded New York City's first large library available to the public. But most of all, he was a visionary businessman of the kind America is made of, with an uncanny ability to reinvent himself and an understanding of global economies that was unheard of at his time. Born in Germany in 1763, John Jacob Astor came to the United States soon after the Revolutionary War and made his fortune as a fur trader and in real estate. He is considered the first American multimillionaire with a fortune that today would be worth hundreds of millions. In 1803, when the area all around you was largely undeveloped, Astor bought a large parcel of land that is now Astor Place, running through most of Lafayette. Astor's development in the area included the Astor Place Opera House, which was the most fashionable theater of its time. Two years after the Opera House opened, it was the scene of the Astor Place Riot. The circumstances of the riot are difficult to comprehend today, but in the mid-1800s, anti-British sentiment was high among New York's Irish, who blamed the British for the potato famine that was wreaking havoc on their families back in the Old World. The Astor Place opera production of Macbeth, starring a British actor, attracted angry protesters who became violent. The police intervened, and by the time the riot subsided, 18 were dead and hundreds injured. The riot ended the short life of the Opera House. But the role of the building as a cultural institution and one linked to Shakespeare continues. After the riot, the opera was turned over to the Mercantile Library and today houses the Joseph Papp Public Theater, producers of the Shakespeare in the Park Summer Festival.